morning my friends welcome to Dave's skillet today we got one heck of a day we got we got a heck of a breakfast to make here an Irish breakfast and here's one of the stars of that process Kerrygold butter Ireland the bacon traditional rashers yeah the only thing we can get that's even close to that in the US would be Canadian bacon so I had to order this stuff I even have the uh, blood pudding and uh, the white pudding uh, let's see if I can get that close to the camera uh, here we go I've cut a, a bit off the ends of each one of those tubes and we got some tomatoes and some mushrooms so I've quartered up oh wait I gotta, I gotta cut that open before I forget, I gotta put my bacon. A couple strips will be enough, I think. Yeah. They were really fast. I got this from um, foodireland.com. You can look them up. $22. Of course, you have to pay for shipping. That's, uh, I think, about $14, something like that. Not exactly cheap, but then they gotta send it to you in a freezer pack. If you're outside of uh, some of some states, like Illinois was exempt, but um, you're in California, you'll probably have to pay more shipping than I did because you're further away from the source. That's just the way it is. Put a piece of bacon there. These are really big, so that's why I'm only going to do two of them. I should probably just do one. Ooh, it's slipping in my hands. <sighs> But, I can always save one and have a heck of a BLT later. There I go. Now, i got to get a thing to put it in. Ah. Oh, come on and open up. <laughs> there we go. Now, put the rest in there. i got to wash my hand off. It's all slick and flaming. Yeah. Here we go. Back bacon, that's what they're calling it. Perfect. I bought a big package of the Donnelly sausages. I'll show you what those look like. These are the Donnelly sausages. These are what you need to make this recipe work. You can use any sausage, but these got the taste. These are the ones you are going to need. Put the top back on my oven here. Should be about 15 minutes at 350 degrees. We'll take care of that. Plug it in. <laughs> uh, plug that other thing. Don't want to use um, what you call it, an extension cord on this kind of oven because that's a bit much. So I'm going to use my big pan over here, the cast iron. I got to do two uh, fried eggs, sunny side up, but I'm going to do the blood puddings first. That should be enough butter right there. It's about a tablespoon and a half, more or less. I eyeball a lot of stuff, I know, but if you want to measure, you can measure. Probably a good idea anyway. Now, got another bag. Need a bag for the butter. I don't need a whole lot, and that butter, I'm going to use that to uh, cook the eggs in. That and some canola oil. There we go. Put that back in the fridge. And the bread that I have today is Irish bread. I got a loaf of uh, Brannan's. 
Yeah, we're going full all the way. I've, now, I've made this dish once before. It's been a while. But I didn't have all the ingredients. I had to shop locally to get to get it done. So this time, I've ordered stuff online and had it shipped to me. Oh. I think two of these blood puddings will be enough. I don't really care for this stuff that much. The white pudding, I don't mind. I know, I'm finicky. <laughs> and there's a lot of people that like the blood sausage. I'm just not one of those. Meh. That doesn't want to cut. Come on and cut. There we go. Cut it off now. See another bag. Another bag for the rest of it. That'll give me uh, one more Irish breakfast. But then I got a lot more in the freezer, so trust me. The um, Donnelly sausages. Oh, I don't want to put those in there. Eh, get those, yeah. I got a huge pack of the Donnelly sausages. They gave me quite a bit. More they gave, actually gave me more than I thought I was gonna get. Just by looking at the picture. But the pictures can be deceiving as heck sometimes, you know? So there's always that. So let's get this plastic off of here. I can see. Eh, my eyes aren't 100 percent yet. Oh god. Whew. Mm -hmm. There we go. Now I got all the plastic off. Okay. Now I gotta turn this thing up. I'm gonna use the green pan to do the sausages in. <sighs> gonna mash these down just a just a tad bit. So they'll cook a wee bit quicker. Yeah. You don't have to mash them down if you don't want to. It's totally up to you. Totally optional. But I'm going to do it. These are a bit tougher than the other ones. Interesting. It's the first time I've actually cooked a blood sausage. I've had them in Ireland when I lived there, but um, yeah, it's been a while. I'm going to shoot just a drop of cannoli oil in here. And I think it's sticking to the wood. Okay, get it off the wood. Eh. Yeah, it's breaking up on me. Ah. Okay, we'll make a patty that way. Steak. Come on. These are okay. Now, I'll definitely have to wash all that off. Woo! We'll do the bread last, obviously. I gotta put a plate in the oven, get it hot. I'm also gonna use some beans. Now they, they use Heinz beans, but I don't really like Heinz beans all that much. And they're hard to get where I live, so I'm gonna just use some bushes. Oh, come on out of there. Uh, my cupboards are fighting me. There we go. So I'm going to use bushes. I rather like these. Yeah, I'm going to use bushes. Check my date. What is it? 2020 February? Yes, yeah, that's, that's a good date. <laughs> Beans last forever, don't they just? It's like tuna fish. They don't go off so quickly. And I'll be putting those in the green pan as well. 
as soon as those sausages are done. They're gonna go in there. And now I gotta heat the, uh, the cast iron up. Cause I'm gonna drop the um, eggs in there. Put that butter in there so it'll start to, to melt and get ready. Now, I gotta start my oven. I'm gonna give it 15 minutes. Temperature's already preset at 350 degrees. Now you can put them in the oven and do it that way or you can just fry them in the cast iron. I've done them that way before but I want to use my uh, turbo oven today. So we will be back shortly. And so now we're going to drop in two eggs. I put them in my cup. It's just easier for me to, to do it that way. I'm going to have to move the camera to show this. So. In the go. Sunny side up. Okay. I gotta move the camera. Okay, so now I'm gonna go ahead and put these guys in. Yep. They are gonna splatter the heck out of me, aren't they? I got something for that. Woo. Ah. ah, it's splattering me. <laughs> And my blood sausages are doing rather well. They're going to have to come off the heat before they're going to work up the structure. Put them in the sink out of, ooh, out of the way. Put them back on here because I almost forgot the beans. Oh. There we go. I will just turn that off though. Don't need that on. Don't need the heat. Because so we're only reheating the beans when I'm cooking them. Because they're already cooked in the pan. So there's no need to go through all that. Woo woo! Firecracker! Not sure which pan is doing that. <laughs> I think it's that one back there. Yeah. I dropped just a little bit of pepper in here. pepper. Shake out. Those are getting kind of hot. Yeah, I don't want that in there. Woo! I gotta add just a little bit of salt to that back one. And I mean just a little bit. Mm. Now you can see when I show you this, the, the grill mark I'm putting on. Oh, shoot! Whoa, whoa, whoa! Stop it now! <laughs> Let's turn that off. Woo! I'm getting splatterated. Whoa, I don't know if you can see it. I'm going to try to get in there. Woo! You can see the grill on the uh, tomatoes. Whoa! That's getting dangerous back there. Mm. Ah. Now I gotta get a couple slices of bread from my Brennan's. Actually, I think I'm gonna get one slice because that would be too much meat to eat. But already a lot. So that goes in there. I've not had this bread in years. So I feel like it plugged in somehow. It'll have to wait. So now we just um. get that closer on the heat. Not get enough heat on that edge for some reason, so get it over in the middle. Mm. 
put those tomatoes on the cold side. I don't know what's beeping. What's oh, the uh, oven's telling me it's hit 170. I can't get that down any lower. I want it to be 100 to keep my plate warm, but yeah, okay. We're just oh, really? going to turn it off now. turn that off. It's already hot enough in there. Yeah, hot enough. So, mm. I don't know how hot that is. I gotta take a taste to see are they getting hot or what. They're okay. As soon as the eggs are done, and then I had one break on me. Nuts. Okay, well, eh. Got about eight minutes to go on the sausages and bacon. We'll be back. Took this off the cast iron. And I'm going to take the rest of it off. I'm going to move the camera again so you can see what I'm doing. burn the heck out of my hand so I gotta use the glove. Now sausage right there. Put the white sausage there with the beans. just put the sausages in the bacon when they're ready right on top of that so this is going to go in the oven and stay warm that part of it's done we still got about five minutes we'll be back I had to put a another grate on top of the bacon because it was starting to curl up and I, I don't want that to happen so we'll keep it flat and I'll put that uh, grill on it and That'll work. Sausages are looking good. Whew. I'm going to have a breakfast pretty soon. We'll be right back. That's uh, sausages and the bacon done. i to bring my plate back up. Whew. It's hot in this kitchen now. I tell you, I had to go lift up the window. Ah, come off of there. Bacon there. One goes there. Ooh, them sausages are nice, aren't they? Ooh, man. Mm. Come on. Let go. Let go. <laughs> it wants to stick on the thing. Uh, now, woo. There's an Irish breakfast. The only thing that's missing right now is the toast. I'm gonna work on that right now. Can't be missing that. Vital that I have the toast. Okay. Now I gotta unplug the oven and plug in the toaster. <clears throat> Shouldn't take but a, about a minute or so. Meanwhile, I'll put that back in the oven to stay warm. Whew. Oven's still hot. I am starting to sweat. Whew. We'll be right back as soon as that toaster's done. And that's the toast. It is done. So we'll put that on there. And that on there. I gotta move the camera again because it's not showing what I'm doing exactly. There we go. Now, there's the Irish breakfast. Whew. That was a lot. <laughs> I need a taste. I'm gonna do a taster here. Those beans are looking really, really good. Mmm. Oh yeah. You gotta make this. You'll love it. These are the folks I got it from. 
foodireland.com. They're highlighting an Irish breakfast right there. There's also um, some instructions here somewhere. Here they are. So I'll highlight their instructions on how to do it, on what you should do. I'm showing a little bit of a picture of it somewhere. Where's it at? Oh, right down there. Duh. Let's see if I can get closer to it right there. So you just pause your camera for a second, pause your video feed for a second, and you'll be able to read all that. Here you go. That's where I got it from, the ingredients. Like I said, they got it. FoodIreland.com. No, they're not paying me to do that. But they could if they wanted to, I'd accept. My tea today is Tetley tea. Now, I know there's other Irish brands of tea I could get, but I like the Tetley tea. So that's what I'm going with. Tetley tea. That's supposed to be an iced tea blend, but cheers. Mm. Good enough for me. Have a good day. Bon appetit.